In Idlib, for once, it's time to rejoice. People are celebrating Israel's attacks on Hezbollah and the death of its leader, Hassan Azrallah. They hand out sweets, congratulate each other, and follow every bit of news coming out of Lebanon. We are overjoyed that the leader of Hezbollah was assassinated by the Zionist state. Obviously, we do not support Israel, but we are very happy that one of the oppressors that participated in the massacre of our Syrian brothers and other people in the region was taken out. This destruction is partly the work of Hezbollah. Throughout the war in Syria, the Shia Lebanese movement has fought alongside the Assad regime. To this day, it is active in regime positions just outside the province of Idlib and regularly attacks this rebel stronghold. The presence of Hezbollah since the start of the Syrian revolution is no secret to anyone. We know they were here in large numbers during the campaign in western Aleppo, in the eastern province of Idlib, along the coast. It's also well known that Hezbollah fighters took part in recent military campaigns of the regime against the Syrian people. Over half of Idlib's population of around 4 million has been displaced by the war. This family in the Altar camp lost their home in an attack by Hezbollah. To them, today's news comes as a relief. Before the revolution, we supported Hezbollah, but they betrayed us. They forced us to leave our homes, they stole our belongings, destroyed our schools and villages. Today we are seeing what Israel is doing to Hezbollah. They are being eliminated and it's bringing us joy. It's warming the hearts of the young and the old. But the attacks keep coming. These images were sent to us by residents of Kafria a few days ago. Local authorities say the regime strikes were fired from Hezbollah positions in retaliation for recent celebrations. According to the Syrian civil defense, this latest attack has left five people dead, including children.